I have a uh, technique to, to, to submit on the arm that I call the armbar from spider. There's so many ways to get the, the, to get an armbar, to submit in the armbar from spider guard. But there's a way that I use that I don't, I don't, it doesn't request for the, for the elbow to be controlled. I use the sleeve. But there's another concept that people need to uh, pay attention to, which is the stretched arm. So every time you see a stretched arm, you should attack it. And that's what I do. So I always try, when I'm playing guard, especially spider guard, I'm always trying to provoke my opponent to stretch his arm. By doing what? By using the base spread concept. Okay, spreading his base so that he starts looking for points of, 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 uh, 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 of just to fight his balance back. He wants to put contact either on me or on the, on the mat. Sometimes even on the, on the wall if you're in, a, in an octagon or in a ring. They're trying to put their arms somewhere to find, find the base and to recover their balance. So what I'm doing is I am trying to always make sure that they have one arm stretched so I can attack it. So this one is a good example of that. So when I'm playing uh, uh, spider guard, give me the sleeves, okay. I'm playing spider guard here. Um, one thing that they usually do is like, so Marcio is gonna stand to pass my guard. He's gonna grab my pants. And sometimes um, I'm, I'm like, okay, I need to play guard here, try to sweep. I'm always looking for the submission in these situations. So what I do, is I want to spread his base. How do I spread his base? By spreading mine. But what is your base? You have your back on the mats. My base is inverted. I still have a base. My base with my feet are here. So I'm going to spread my base. I'm going to make sure I, I break Marcio's grip from one of my legs and stretch him. So I'm opening my base as well. So I'm going to do this. And guess what we have now? a stretched arm. How do you attack this elbow since you don't have control of the elbow? I don't need, if, if the arm is stretched, I can just go over his arm and, ex and, and exercise pressure here, put pressure against his elbow, and now I have his arm. Boom, he's tapping right here. So it's very, very easy and almost subtle, right? So I'm playing spider guard here. I open up, I make sure I break his, his, his grip. Chances are he wants to uh, just put his grab somewhere else, put his hand somewhere so he can find balance. Like I was explaining before, when I open the base, he wants to find balance again. So he grabs somewhere. That just helps me because I know exactly where his hand is. So now I spread mine making his arm stretch, and now I put weight over his elbow, and I go against it. Let's change the, the side. <clears throat> Once again, I have the spider here. I'm gonna break the grip and provoke his arm to be stretched. Now his arm stretched, he just, he, he, instinctively, he got his, uh, my collar. So I spread mine and I go back over his elbow and apply pressure against it. That's it. So you don't need to be super flexible or super strong. You just need to apply very simple concepts. One of them is the arm, the stretched arm concept, and the other one is the spread base concept. Sometimes if you don't have uh, a spread base, and it's completely on balance, it's gonna to be tough to submit like that. So you have to be moving in a way that he is like guessing, and okay, where do I put my hand? So that's what I wanna cause. Once again, in a more realistic situation, I'm gonna be playing guard of a master here. And he's, let me get a little more here. Okay, playing guard. And Masu is trying to pass. Look at that. Break, boom. Right here, submission. Because the weight of my leg is over his elbow, his arm is stretched, so I don't have to go with my hip 
just a little bit of base under his, his elbow is enough to, for the breaking point, you know? So that's super effective. I get here, I see that his thumb is pointing up, so I go against his thumb and I finish here, right? So this is another technique that you can use the base spread concept and the stretch arm concept. Two very important concepts in order to get a very effective uh, 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 arm bar on the breaking point.